Hello and welcome back. We have understood how k nearest neighbor algorithm works and uh, the importance of feature scaling in k nearest, k nearest neighbor algorithm. Let us try to understand how to choose k because as a data scientist we need to specify how many closest records the algorithm should be looking into to make a decision. So if you choose too many too small uh, okay that means very less number of nearest neighbors to look into with minor changes in data the decision boundary will change right? the algorithm you now works differently with minor def minor changes in the train set because the k nearest neighbors algorithm is heavily dependent on train set it actually saves the train set into memory and tries to calculate distances of the record which we need to predict you know we have got 35 years and 100000 uh, salary person right when that person's record is passed into the system it actually goes into memory it loads the train set into memory and it, it goes into memory and starts calculating the distances so if the data set is too huge right you cannot use k nearest neighbors algorithm because your memory may not be sufficient to hold the huge volume of data that is one problem with k k k nearest algorithm and you need to choose the k if you choose you if you have chosen very small k and uh, for some reason you have you know, changed the train set or added more records into the train set the decision boundary will ch change and the you know, previous predictions will change that is one problem and if you choose high k like the bigger uh, more you have you wanted to look into 20 neighbors or 30 neighbors uh, before you make a decision right then the model will underfit on the train set the model may not work well so to choose the perfect k we have to take help from the learning curve i hope you have understood what is learning curve in our previous sessions learning curve is nothing you take different parameters for the algorithm and try to build a model and uh, take the error and plot it which is called as learning curve and you see where the error is reducing and where the error is raising so here what we'll do is we'll take uh, k is equal to 3 and try to build an algorithm and you know test it on test set take the error put it in the graph k is equal to 5 we'll test it k is equal to 7 we'll test it k is equal to 9 we'll test it like that we'll test it so wherever you get the lowest error on the test set that is the best k so to actually build the model we'll use um, k fold cross validation because you know it already it always does that uh, you know, multiple samples taking and taking the averages and all the stuff right so we'll use k fold cross validation to choose this best k wherever you get the lowest error that is the best k so when the algorithm is looking at nine neighbors it is finding the prediction correctly on the train on the test set so it is going to work well on the production also so that's how you choose so it is a trial and error approach you take you start with uh, three neighbors then five seven uh, nine eleven like that you take odd number of neighbors only because when you are doing a, a, a classification problem if you take uh, odd number of uh, same odd number of nearest neighbors there will be either uh, you know even number of you know two will be on one side and one will be other side like you know the decision making will be easier to make so that's how you choose k you, you start with three neighbors and test the model for five neighbors test the model seven neighbors test the model like that you test it and wherever you get minimal error that is the best k you choose learning curve will help you in choosing the best k thank you